Hi guys, it's Lily Bell from Melbourne, Australia. It is just after 2 p.m. and Dolores, my caretaker, has just gone and she washed me, gave me a washing bed. Um, I've come out to have my shake, which I'm about to do. Um, earlier in the week, on well, every Tuesday, I have Dolores come and she does prep cooking for me. In, uh, You've seen some of the videos of the food that she produces. Um, she roasted off some garlic and um, some eggplant for me. And I decided that I wanted to roast it a little bit more and add some zucchini and squash that needs to be used and some carrots. So I did chop that up. I'm absolutely exhausted, but I'm so happy. Yay, thumbs up, I did it. <laughs> And then I'm also going to, but I'm going to do this in a couple hours, pop this on in a wok with some uh, beef stock and some herbs and cook that down and make it into like a gravy. Um, so I basically used virgin olive oil, um, Italian herbs, Himalayan salt, natural, and some just coals, whole black pepper and fresh rosemary. Now. In the oven right now, I'm just gonna hold this. I have, I knew that was gonna happen. Let me take it out. I've put in what she did the other day, Dolores did the other day, plus I popped in some tomatoes, a few more red peppers, and as you can see, I've got fresh, um, What's it called? Rosemary. Now I'm about to put some carrots on here too, so I'm going to close this off. I'll pop this here, I've got the timer on. Pop that there for a sec. I just feel like something, you know, roasted tonight. And I'm going to have some soup as well. So hold on a sec. <gasps> I've just, uh, I don't know if you can hear me. I've just uh, microwaved a couple of carrots to, to cheat a little bit because that's what you do when either you're not well, you've got not enough energy, or you're a working mum, single mum, whatever, or you just don't like to cook, you do things as quick as you can. So I'm going to put these carrots, there's not many of them, in here. See, they're all really basically cooked in here on top of everything. Like that. Now I'm just going to put the zucchini and squash in just for a couple of minutes in the microwave because it doesn't need much. Pop that on top, sprinkle a little bit more salt, pepper and Italian herbs and then that's going to go in the oven to roast. Okay, so I've got the zucchini and squash on in the microwave. It's time for me to rest. I should have done my drink first. So I've been up for five minutes, but you know what? It's still good because I still was able to do it, but I need, I've overdone it. So I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to go and rest and I'll come back and I'll finish this up. It's still early. The main thing is for me to get my drink into me. So that's the next thing on the list. It's been a hot minute. I've been listening to some H, oh not H, ASMR triggers and deep breathing because I almost fainted. I know I'm naughty. And then I realized that I haven't had anything to eat today, which is not good. And I haven't drunk enough, which is not good. And guess what I forgot to take? my morning pills. So the first thing I'll be doing, and I just spilt them everywhere, bloody hell, is my medication. So I'll do that really quickly. Then I must do my drink before I get faint. Oh goodness. All right, did I pick up all my, yes. Oh, what did I drop? I dropped a pill, okay. All right, I'm going to now do my drink. I think you guys have seen me do this, but I'll show you again. And I'm stepping on everything. 
My parents come home. They're gonna freak. Because it's a bloody mess. Okay. So this is my uh, coffee. I might have coffee, it's decaf. And uh, that does three of my shakes. Okay, my Opti Fast Intensive Shakes. This is my vanilla shake, the only one I can have because this is the only product in the range that doesn't have fructose, fructose, whatever you say. So that's, and it's vanilla, it's disgusting. It's very, very sweet, so that's why I do decaf. So basically, I will now get my Nutribullet. Machine. That's the oven, and I've literally just wasted electricity because I didn't put anything back because I got faint. Oh well. Now you haven't seen this uh, this one because I showed you last time my my no not well I'll call it uh, non branded Nutribullet and it was purple. Um, the machine was fine, but the the cups were. Um, I put it back here. The cups were were not doing so great so my dad my beautiful dad I'll get this out of the way brought me a Nutribullet so let's see if you can see this yep okay so I poured just a little bit of this in okay pop that back in the fridge The colder it is, the better, and when summer comes around, I'm going to be doing ice. It makes it nice and thick, like a thick shake. Okay, now of course I need more water than that, so I've got my Brita filter. I it up to about there. This goes really quick. It's so powerful because it's a turbo one. <laughs> kind of really didn't need it, but that's okay. Um, I appreciate my dad. So I just press it down. Stop. and it's done I tell you it is a struggle like seriously just getting this is so exhausting for me I'm not just saying this to complain again I always say to you guys I'm trying to educate people how bad ME can be for people okay guys I'm gonna go and drink this and sit down in the oven I might have to turn off and then come back okay That ain't gonna be done today. I've totally, like always, given myself too much to do, and in reality, it's not much, but it is a lot for me. And I keep telling myself that even though to, to many that this is basically nothing. I've actually overdone it. I'm glad I tried it, but I shouldn't have done it. Because now I'm literally at the point where as soon as I even get up, I'm starting to feel like my whole entire body has been drained of blood, which means I've definitely overdone it. Yeah, I've basically done nothing, but I've got to keep being positive and tell myself that you tried and you did do stuff, even though I know that my body's overdone it, which means I'm going to get more payback. Um, and I've just realized that I need more tea and I didn't bring out my bottle. So I'm just going to have to wait until my parents come home. <clears throat> Which is not ideal because I'm supposed to, especially on this diet, be having three litres of water a day and I've literally not even had one litre and it's, let's just say it's three o'clock maybe around there. Alright, I really need to get this on and get to bed. You know, you think I'd be sick of my bed after being in bed most of my life 
since the age of 90. So well, since age of 16, I went for a whole year in bed. But when I got to 19, that's when I've really been at my worst. I'm doing this very, very quickly. I may not even spice it because I think you can hear that I'm struggling. Oh God. Shit. I didn't swear, I didn't swear. What I do feel bad about is when my husband or my parents come home to a mess and they have to clean up after me. I just realized my bottle is here, but I'm still not going to have the energy to do it. But I'm going to pop this in. I'm going to pop this on for 25 minutes. Hopefully by then my blood pressure will have stabilized. I'm popping, see that guys? Oven. I'm going to be very careful. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to put any of this away. Sorry parents. Got a little bit of liquid left. That's going to have to do it. I'm walking fast. <laughs> because I'm at the point of collapsing. Sorry about the bedroom. <clears throat> just realized I just got a t shirt on, Jesus. <sighs> I don't even know if you can see me, guys. Definitely overdone it. But still thinking positive. I don't know if you can see me. Yes, I will get back to you. Yeah, I need to breathe and I need to move, meditate and get some. I've got about a cup left of my water, but that's the only. I'm just going to have to wait till my parents come home. And I've got to remember not to burn the vegetables, I just realised. Did I put the timer on? Okay. All right, guys. Okay, I had no choice. I had to come out because the oven went off 10 minutes ago and I don't want to burn. And I didn't want to bring out because I took this off the stand. So, but I wanted to show you now. This is a very hot oven, so I'm just going to go off to the side. Woo! See? That's how hot it is. And I'm off at the side. So I'm going to be very careful. Okay, so this is the end result. It probably could use a little bit more, but I'm thinking I'll get mum to pop it on 20 minutes before I eat tonight around 8 o'clock. Um, because at 6.30 I have my other drink. And I've got some um, cauliflower and cauliflower roasted garlic and um, carrot soup to have as well. Now it looks very oily, but it's only got two teaspoons of olive oil in this um, because this is going to do at least two meals. And you probably think, geez, that's a lot, but um, that's the only thing I eat other than my uh, milk shake thingies um and i can have two to three four four cups of veggies i usually to have two cups um and we're supposed to have one teaspoon of oil a day good oil um but a lot of that is also juices from the tomato the capsicum um and stuff so it smells delicious um maybe some mushrooms in here would have been nice and a few more greens but that's okay um I'm going to put it back in the oven, turn off the oven. I'll do that now so I can prove that I've done it because of my memory. But I'm going to pop it back in the oven so it keeps warm in there. And I am going to do my water because I'm not sure when my parents are going to be back. 
and then I am basically probably going to sleep or meditate for the rest of the day because I need it. Uh, so there, uh, I did it guys, I did it. I mean, most of this was already done. I only did the cups, can squash and the carrots. Um, and I did overdo it, but again, I have accomplished something and um, it smells amazing. This is yummy. Okay guys, this is also um, the way I make my bolognese sauce is lots of uh, red pointed capsicum, roasted garlic and tomatoes with bay leaves um, and I usually put some carrot in there to sweeten it up and then I pop, I roast it like this and then I pop it through um, my blender and uh, it's absolutely amazing and I serve it with usually mushrooms for the meaty texture and um, spiralized uh, they're called zoodles, um, zucchini, which I usually, I do have a spiralizer, but it's, it takes a lot out of me. So I usually buy the Coles already prepared, um, pasta. So I, not pasta, you know what I mean? <laughs> pasta alternative. Okay guys, so I better, I will put this away. Now this Italian herbs, this brand has onion in it but what's in here is actually not that brand i just kept the um the container because these come in like little plastic sachets so um but this is my favorite mix of herbs i literally pop it in everything okay so i'm going to fill this up and bed but i am going to check on jingles because i miss her so Wow, that was fun. I just dropped my phone. So the light's gone off, but that's really, really hot in there. I just realized that my parents won't be home. They're going out for dinner. So I'll we'll have to do this anyway. Okay, so that's filled up. So I'm good to go. 500 mils left, so that's two cups. So I've got 600 mils here that I must drink. Another two cups, and then I must fill this right up again to here and drink that much into uh for the rest of the day uh yeah okay so let's pop this in here so do i i just realized i'm lucky i saw that because i would have gone to bed and i would have opened this up and it would have spilled all over me it's not put on properly oh dear perfect let's spy on jingles and then get to bed could be messy in here because well, that's not too bad and as you can see oh it stopped raining but it is a very cloudy day for spring hello my beautiful girl hey are you in your cage it's very dark you've been whistling away to your friends don't worry she's not in the cage all the time in fact she's very spoiled aren't you you love my mum Let's try and get you so it's yeah yeah you want to say hello say hello hi you're getting an old birdie now aren't you hey sit down for a few minutes oh i think this is my mum and dad i thought they weren't coming home it is there's my mum and dad well, my mum, I think. My dad's at the gym. That's right. They're coming home and then going out. It's my mummy. Yeah, it's your mummy. It's your favourite person, the only one you let touch you. My dad's looking at the bin, bringing the bins in. Hi, Daddy. He hasn't seen. Isn't he cute? I think he's. Your mummy's coming. She gets so excited, don't you? Because you get to come out of the cage and have cuddles. Yeah. See how she gets to know she's, she can hear my mum. She gets so excited. Just like as soon as you get the remote control, she thinks it's going to be YouTube because she loves watching YouTube. 
and she'll start getting really, really excited. Come on, show us your face. Oh, is your mummy coming in? You getting excited? Yeah, we'll try and get you with mummy when you're out of the cage. You're a cute bird. See, I've got the video on. <clears throat> this is my mum. Isn't she beautiful? Like, <laughs> yeah, so I've got jingles. Okay, I'll stop it now. Okay, guys, it is 6.30. My parents have gone out for dinner. So, basically, I've only just got out of bed after having a bit of a sleep. Um, this is what I use. Broccoli and cauliflower rice. Yes. And you probably heard that ding. My phone just went off. Um, so basically, this is just got a tiny bit of stock in it. Obviously, my favorite mixed herb, the Italian spice. Um, salt and just a tiniest bit of salt. And um, some uh, black pepper. And that's gone through the microwave. Um, leaving that to the side. Got my drink ready because in half an hour I have my second milkshake. And... Then at 8 o'clock I'll have the, my leftover soup. Now this is roasted garlic, carrot and cauliflower soup. It may not look great but it's absolutely beautiful. It's really, really creamy. It tastes like it's got cream and milk and it doesn't. All it has is stock in it and it's been roasted, it's just roasted garlic, roasted um, carrot and roasted cauliflower and then it's just put through the soup soup maker with a little bit of stock and so I'll be having that so it's a portion of my veggies and then uh, I've popped the stove back on to kind of um, roast those vegetables a little bit more and probably about half of that maybe three quarters of that um, I'm going to be serving on top of this and that's my vegetables for today um, and then I'll have one more of these drinks um, about two hours before bed so that's my diet and um, it's actually really delicious <laughs> I mean um, it can get a little bit tiring considering that I'm excuse me guys you're just gonna see me in the kitchen considering that I'm more restricted than most on this diet because there's lots of vegetables that we are allowed but I'm, I'm allergic to um, and again I, I can only have one of their products but you know I've been doing this for over a year the last two months, I will say, I had to go off the diet through due to health reasons. But I'm back on it now, and I do believe I'll probably start to lose some more weight because my body feels like it's kicking in and going to um, ketidosis. Uh, if you want to know more about this um, diet that I'm doing, uh, let me know. Um, but again... You will be hearing me say non-stop that I only I don't believe in diets um, and if I do do something like this there'll be a warning at the start because uh, no I just don't want to trigger anyone and I don't want to put it out there that everyone should be on a diet everyone should be getting thin it's not what I'm about so um, yeah, but I don't mind sharing with you. And I'll do a grocery haul. <laughs> I take up most of the fridge. Oh, the oven just made a noise. Let's check on this. It's got to go. This is a real hot oven. Even when you're off to the side. See that? I'm nowhere near the oven. Oh, actually, it's starting to burn a little bit. Hold on. Maybe I've got it up too high. Looks like a lot of oil in this, but it's coming out of the veggies. I think, you know, in all honesty, that's dumb. I'm going to turn it right down. Sorry, guys, we're moving around. I'm going to turn it right down. I'll just give it another 10 minutes. Oh, I've got a minute to go anyway. I always do that, guys. So, you know what? I'm just going to turn this off and just keep it because that will remain hot. Now I'm going to get my drink because I've got 10 minutes to go and it's 6.30 and that's my drink time. And then I'm going back to bed to relax, maybe put some Netflix on, I'll probably fall asleep. My husband will probably give me a call if he remembers, have a quick talk. 
and at 8.15 I'll come out and prepare my dinner. Um, my parents may even be home by then because they went to a, an early dinner. They've gone to a Thai restaurant. Ah, sounds yummy. I forgot to show you that my mum actually popped this on for me. Um, so that's my mushroom gravy. Um, usually I will vitamize it, but I think I might just leave it as it is. I'm going to put the top back on it. Ooh, it's hot. Um, all I did was pop it through the microwave. But that's basically, it's um, just stock in there. And again, I'm just using a lot of vegetables, stock, salt, pepper, herbs, spices, and only I'm only allowed one teaspoon of oil a day. So there's no oil on this because I've already got that in my veggies. But um, this, yeah, this is lovely. Too bad if you don't like mushrooms. And tomorrow I'm going to make a creamy mushroom soup. So basically all that is is mushrooms with cauliflower and a teaspoon of olive oil into the soup machine with some stock, some herbs, and then it's basically it cooks itself, it vitamizes itself and... Yeah, it doesn't look pretty. Mushrooms are very hard to look pretty. It comes out this brownie, yucky color, but it is divine and so good for you. So uh, that's something else. Okay, going to get my drink. Time to lie down, guys. <laughs> okay. So this is my beautiful dinner. The bottom of it's got the cauliflower broccoli rice, which I mix the mushroom through it. And these are the roasted vegetables on top. I haven't had my soup. I may have that if I get hungry later. I have one more shake left and a lot more to drink of water and tea. And can't wait to tuck into this. It's absolutely delicious and very, very healthy.